everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the backup solar system for the uh, root cellar fallout shelter situation. Uh, I'm setting up these uh, stands here. I've got a bunch of other ones over there. Now, these are the ones I've, I used to have at our old homestead. They were at the temporary, uh, you know, normal house that we are in for a while, uh, getting solar power there. They've been out of commission for a while since, you know, we've been moved in here. I just haven't been using them, and that's what I want to get set up right now. Uh, this is the first one in here, and I'm putting one of these under each one. This is the kind of thing you put in if you want your dog to go on like a run kind of thing. They screw into the ground, and uh, they help to anchor it because, you know, if you get a little bit of wind, or, or you, last night we had a ton of wind uh, blowing around out here, uh, you know, a solar panel is like a sail, and it'll just fly right over. So you really need to anchor them. So I've got one uh, securely in the ground right there, and we're going to uh, just kind of drop them off along here. I'm going to... Uh, uh, dig down and get to the uh, root cellar, which is right beneath you. In fact, your position is just about above where you were in the last video. Uh, the uh, root cellar is right here. The entrance is right here. So you, you walk in, there's that little baffle wall. You kind of come around here and then you're into the space over there. Um, so I'm going to be running them along here and the drop is going to be here. So I'm going to be going in and uh, drilling in through the concrete, putting a, a, one, uh, a one half inch conduit, uh, PVC plastic conduit in there and we'll be able to get the power down in there. And I'm gonna put all the batteries underneath the kind of entryway. There's sort of a raised deck in there that was made as sort of a storage area. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get into. It's not like a place you'd wanna to go to a lot. And plus it's in the entryway, so you're not super protected from radiation over there. Uh, but I'm gonna be putting the batteries down in that area and uh, I think that'll be a, a good use of that space. And I've measured them and they, they seem like they're gonna fit in there pretty well. Other things going on uh, in terms of shielding, I did the actual math on how much shielding we have here. Uh, let me get that out of my hand. We've got uh, a uh, concrete ceiling on the root cellar and it's got kind of a corrugated design. At the thinnest part of the corrugation, it's five inches of concrete. At the thickest part, it's about eight inches of concrete. A halving thickness uh, of, with concrete, a halving thickness is how much of a substance it takes to cut the radiation moving through it by half. A halving thickness is about two and a half inches. So uh, I've got between uh, the five inch section would be two, two and a half inch sections. So that'd be about two halving thicknesses. And the thicker areas have, you know, uh, you know, an extra two and a half, three inches or so. So, uh, you know, I've got somewhere between two and three halving thicknesses uh, just right there on the concrete. Uh, that gets you down to like, you know, somewhere around like an eighth of the radiation. You know, that's good, but you want to keep going from there. And I, I measured the average amount of dirt that we have on top, and it seems like we've got about 14 inches of dirt on top of that on average. Um, you know, all said, it seems like we've uh, br brought down with all the halving thick thicknesses that we're somewhere between 1 64th and 1 128th of uh, the radiation uh, that's out here will be getting inside. That's even better, uh, but I want to keep going from there. I'm really aiming for somewhere uh, around like 1 500th, 1 1,000th of what the ambient levels are out here. I want to be getting in there. So what that means is I need to be adding another, you know, about 14 more inches of dirt on top here, which is a little bit of a bummer because it's finally starting to grow in here. What I'll probably do is kind of shave off uh, the top here that has the, the grass, put it off to the side, put some more dirt on top, and then kind of patch the other stuff in. It never worked perfectly, but you know, it's better than just burying all this. So that's the plan, uh, get, uh, get, getting these guys in. I think by the end of the day, I should at least be able to get the tripods uh, in place and, uh, and then start thinking about uh, you know, getting a little bit more, um, you know, just stuff on here. And it doesn't have to be just dirt. It can be dirt, rocks, you know, scrap pieces of concrete, things like that um, piled on. Uh, you know, any way of just getting stuff between you and the nasties. That's it. Thanks for watching.